She's an infant fighting for her life. She was born with a heart defect that put her on life support. She, it's given her seizures and, and strokes, and she's already endured multiple surgeries. But she's a fighter, and her parents, one of them, Dallas ISD trustee Miguel Solis, have been watching as she seems to turn each medical setback into a small triumph. They spoke with Fox Force Brandon Todd today. Brandon's at Children's Medical Center Dallas right now. Brandon. Yes, yeah, Stephen, Heather, by all definitions, it was a textbook birth until that is a doctor discovered that little Olivia had aortic valve stenosis, essentially blocking blood from moving through the heart. She was rushed here to Children's Medical Center, and what followed was a medical journey filled with successes and failures, and it isn't over yet. When Miguel Solis and his wife Jacqueline need strength, determination, and courage, they need only look into their daughter Olivia's tiny little eyes. You're okay. It's okay, baby. For this DISD board trustee and his wife, a pediatrician herself, the Children's Medical Center ICU has been home since February 22nd. For the past nearly 10 years, I've been focused on 150,000 plus children, um, but for the past month, I've just been focused on one. They want me to be more the mommy and less the doctor trying to think about what all these numbers and sounds mean, and um, and just let me love on her um, and comfort her the way that any other mommy in here would be doing. Shortly after Olivia was born, her doctor heard a murmur in her heart. You know, the worst thing that a parent wants to hear was told to us, and that is your child has a very weak heart and we need to do something dramatic pretty quickly. What followed was a series of medical emergencies, almost too numerous to list. She had a procedure that unfortunately um, didn't turn out the way we hoped. She had 63 minutes of CPR, which led her to life support, 16 days of life support, um, an eight hour open heart surgery, seizures and strokes. Those newborn joys most parents treasure were off limits. Olivia was hooked up to machines and tubes. Several times she nearly died, but each time she pulled through. Considering the, the level of acuity and how sick she was when she got to our hospital, this is, this is impressive and notable and we're really excited. And then Tuesday, Olivia still connected to tubes and surrounded by nurses, Jacqueline was allowed for the first time in 24 days to hold her baby girl in her arms. I'm a little greedy and I want more and I can't wait until we're skin to skin again until she's, you know, hugging me and, uh, you know, just, I just can't wait for all of those, th the things to come. We've been able to have one more day with her and now we're at one month with her and our hope is she'll continue to improve and we'll have a lifetime full of memories with her. She's changed so many, so many people's lives, including ours, and um, it's just great that, that God thought we were worthy enough to deserve her. And again, the medical procedures and the risks still continue for little Olivia. Uh, Miguel Solis and his wife are asking for prayers, but not just for them, Steve and Heather. They're asking for prayers also for all the other families out there who have kind of the same circumstances as their daughter, and there are a lot of them. Steve, Heather? Well, they're really sharing their story, and I think that helps a lot of people, Brandon, like you said, who are going through this, but what a sweet baby. Very nice. Hope she does fine over the coming days.